I knew a farmer and I knew him well and he had a, some kind of animal I think possibly it was a humorously shaved vegetable and he showed us the, the, possibly a parsnip or a cucumber <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember the words. They were really, really... No, I can't remember that either. What is that word for something that's clever and short? Damn. It's, it's, it's like what you make helmets out of. <laughs> nah. Not tin. I can't say that a phrase of mine was tinny. Ironic, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pithy. That's the word. The thong was really pithy. <laughs> I don't know which thong. What are you going on about songs for? Hey, okay. what was that? Over there, in the donkey cart park. <laughs> no, it was something. Let's go and see. <laughs> No, it's not dangerous. It's the start of the game. They can't kill us off yet. Come on, trust me. <sighs> All I'm gonna do is look. Well, this is a pretty poor job. I think I can dismantle it. Uh. <laughs> Nearly a catastrophe. <laughs> Don't sweat it, pal. We've got nine minutes and seven seconds left. You know what we could do? We could drive this thing out of here. <laughs> oh, damn. No donkey. Oh, you could pull it. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. Looks like we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> Uh, couldn't be simpler. Oh, I'm thinking we should turn the green flask. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Maybe the red? Mm -hmm. Let's turn the green flask then. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a hunch. Remember the time in the high energy facility when I turned the yellow flask and blew everything up? Mm -hmm. Right, so I'm turning the red flask then. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Did I say green? Mm -hmm. Well, I meant red. Look, we can do it your way if you... Look, I'm sure, OK? You ready? Aren't you going to miss all this stuff when they stop making these games? Aren't you just going to miss it all? I'm turning the flask. There, you see? Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Grab the cat, gangway! Take cover! Well, the animation budget's increased at least. But of course that's a good thing. It means they haven't spent as much on plot, doesn't it? They've probably halved the number of insane object puzzles for a start. <clears throat> Sorry, I mean clever, natural thinking exercises, of course. <laughs> Trust me, I've been through this sort of thing before. There's a place you're always welcome That's as nice as it can be Everyone can get in Cause it's absolutely free That's death No need to take a breath Just lie around all day With not a single bill to pay Hooray that's death No more sicknesses or flu If you've lived beyond your means You can die beyond them too Boo-hoo Well, the greatest and the finest Hmm, have already died Why not simply join them On the other side That's death 
Say farewell to all your bills Rip up all your wills And pop your final pills Amen, that's death It's a tater tate with fate If you're not feeling great Then it's the best way to lose weight Mate Nothing here to hurt you No one's here to nag Come die with me If your life's a drag That's death For wealthy and well-bred All of them are here <coughs> uh, colleagues, gentlemen, and fellow wizards. Here's looking at your bottom. Uh, up to your eye. Huh. Pull the other one. It's got strange knobbly bits on. Happy Hogswatch Day. Thank you. Uh, uh, colleagues, we are gathered here today for the final departure party of our dear, soon-to-be-departed comrade, the wizard, Windle Poons. Hooray! Good old Windle, don't forget to ghost right. Three, two, one, zero! What? Nothing. That's it. I hope. Right, everybody. Our funeral at 2.30, then drinks and ham rolls in the main hall at 3. Hey, uh, what's happening? Call this service, do you? I'm dead, I am. I demand to be taken away to a better life, as per contract. Oi. Things were different in my day. You died properly, not like the deaths you get nowadays. Uh, he, 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 he says he's not dead. I am dead, but I'm still bloody ambulatory. No, you're not. You're fooling no one but yourself, you know. Hmm, well, he, he looks dead. <laughs> Smells dead. Of course, he always did, though. And I suppose my word doesn't count for anything around here. I can't be dead if I'm still talking, now can I? Look, old chap, it's our considered professional view that you are an extinct wizard. Your opinion doesn't count because you're dead. Oh, yeah, good point. Well... I suppose I'll just sit here then, shall I? I suppose it takes a while. So, um, how is death, um, actually? See any, um, white lights, you know, tunnels, girls with harps? Oh, yes, please. I'll take two. 
No! Uh, if this is heaven, I wish I'd done wicked things when I was alive. What's happening to me? Uh, well, it, it seems that your body's dead, but your soul's still in... Well, in residence. Well, I'm not hanging about here for the rest of my afterlife. I've had a hard life, Arts Chancellor. I'm entitled to a bit of paradise. I've read about it. Young women and wine and whatnot. Look, your life's over. You're not supposed to moan about it. And definitely not supposed to contemplate any... any... Uh, whatnot. Uh, who's responsible for this? Where's death, then? This is outrageous. You, you, you can't have a soul hanging about a deceased body like that. Why not? It's unhygienic. Yeah, there's, there's food laid out. We can't have him near the nibbles. The health inspectors will be on to us. Yes, yes, good point. Now compose yourself, Windrow. You can't decompose here. I shall have to ask you to move along. Oh, comes to something when a man can't even drop stone dead in peace. Eternal rest, eternal rest, is it? Well, I'm not going to take this lying down. I'm off to find myself a nice shallow grave. There's been too much of this sort of thing lately. Rincewind? Rincewind! Yeah. Uh. Ah, Rincewind. <laughs> there you are. Now, as you're aware, there have been some very odd goings-on in this city of late. I am referring, of course, to the sudden disappearance of death. Dying? Oh, they're dying, but their souls aren't being taken away. They're dead and alive at the same time, and now it's happened to poor Windle. Death's gone, and we need to summon him back. So, uh, here you go. We need to perform the rites of Ashkent. I suppose you have a list of mysterious ingredients that I now have to run off and collect. What? How did you know that? I just had a dreadful suspicion. Alright, so what have we got to find? Well, it's a rush job, so just the bare minimums will do. We need three equal-sized sticks of wood and four cc's of mouse's blood. It shouldn't take you more than a few minutes. Bets anyone? Um... What is it now? Let's just say that, uh, we needed more than the bare minimums. And not to say that I'm questioning your judgement. I'm just, uh, planning for the future, is all. Well, the rest is all just flash and style. This is a death rite, after all. You know the routines. A bit of sparkle and glitter in the air, vile Charles stench erupting from the tomb, and lovely dribbly candles. That sort of thing. None of which we'll need at all. That's right. Just the wood and the mouse's blood. There never seems to be any way of getting a decent moment's rest around this place. Act One. The right stuff.
That leads to the high energy facility. Scaz. Hmm. Essentially the sort of man who carefully files away family photographs as his sole means of recreation. For a good conversation starter. Ah! Hello there! Uh, yeah. Right, yeah. Yes, um, absolutely. And... You are... Skaz. That's a name I have. Yeah, right. Oh, lovely. Well, that's this conversation off to a good start, then. What are you doing here? Doing? Uh. Just answer the question. I'm, you know, trying to get it together, you know. I mean, what are, like, you know, any of us really, like, you know, actually doing from a cosmic point of view? Yes. What? What are you doing in this room? Oh, right, yeah. While well, working, you know, on this new, uh, magical engine for working things out. It works things out, you know. By working them out, it crunches numbers into little bits. Amazing! What's it called? We, uh, right, call it Hex. Why? Well... Because in the working things out engine business, everything has got to have, like, a three-letter name. Is that because you can't understand longer words? What? Somehow, when I look at you, I feel that a three-letter name just isn't enough. What? I don't understand. Really? That's astonishing. It really is. So, what are we here then? Thorms! Billions and billions and billions of thorms! Pardon me while I just edge closer to an appropriate escape route, will you? Please don't let me disturb your meditation on world domination. I like a nice magnet, don't you? I've always found magnets strangely attractive. Attractive, get it? Attract with the magnet. Well, there's little enough fun in this job. If you can't enjoy yourself, then you might as well just go home and lie down.
Hey, man, you've like broken it now. All the ants have run away. You've like debugged it. Oh, like, wow! I see, I see, like, a totally new world. It's, it's a view in, into possibilities that might or, or might not be. Cosmic uncertainty, man. Kind of like you've got an animal inside this box, only it's a cat. The box is a cat. Yeah, but sometimes it's like dead. Oh man, you just have to climb in this thing for yourself and go for a ride. Hello there. Fine day for it. Mm -hmm. For it? You see? My spleen still remembers. Remembers what? Mm -hmm. uh, well, it, it remembers. I don't. Hello! Shh! Sorry! Really sorry! Oh.
sorry. I thought you were someone else. Who? Mm -hmm. Who? What? Who did you think I was? Oh, nobody in particular. Don't worry about it. <laughs> One hesitates to ask any further, really. So that's it, is it? That's your entire repertoire, just sitting around and saying, oi! Is that all? Is that all? No, why? Oh, you say I'm just a smelly little imp, and so I say, hooray -o. You say that I'm a silly little gimp, and I say, go away -o. Cause I'm smelly over here, I'm smelly over there. I'm smelly, smelly, smelly everywhere. I fill the bathtub plug with hair, and then I sing all day, oh. Oh, you say I'm just a silly jelly blimp, and I say it's okay, oh. You say a piece of string is limp, and I say the word potato. Limp, 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 here, limp, 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 there, and potato peelings everywhere. How long's it take to skin a bear? And I say, um, and I say all day, oh. Quite. No way am I touching that. Popcorn! Popcorn! Do it yourself, Popcorn! Just add heat! And butter! And maybe a frying pan! Also serves as catapult ammunition! Or excellent fishing sinkers! Come and get it while it's still in stock! Only one previous owner! I'm letting it go for less than mark price and that's cutting me own throat! Popcorn! Is this all your life has to offer? I thought you might have, well, you know, improved yourself. Reached for higher goals. I'm reaching, Gav, I'm reaching! Matter of fact, I'm going into clickies. Popcorn! Oh, no, I just don't think this is working. Um... By the great beard of someone unusually well bearded. What happened to you? I thought you were a milkmaid. I was a dairy product distribution agent, thank you. All that's behind me now. 
payment for SPM. I'm sorry. An actress. A star of stage and screen. I'm starring in a new clicky called Trolls Prefer Blondes. Oh. And why do trolls prefer blondes? Well, apparently I'm a... a, a damn. What's that word for generic pop idol? An icon? No! Icons grow on trees. Those are acorns. Really? I'm sure it wasn't acorns. Oh well then. Maybe it was coconuts or melons then. I'm sure I heard it mentioned somewhere. I think I'm beginning to get the idea. Anyway, now I'm a famous pop coconut. It's ever so exciting. Wandering shop. No one knows why. But all the most truly mysterious and magical items are brought from shops that appear and, after a trading life even briefer than a double glazing company's, vanish like smoke. They can turn up wherever there's a suitable stretch of blank wall. But once there, they have always been there. Dust and grime and a general worn look instantly dispel any doubts in the minds of people who may have walked down that same street every day for a year without noticing it. There are three general theories to explain the phenomenon of wandering shops. 1. Many thousands of years ago there evolved somewhere in the multiverse a race whose single talent was to buy cheap and sell dear. 2. They are the creation of a sympathetic fate, charged with the role of supplying exactly the right thing at the right time. 3. They are simply a very clever way of getting around the various Sunday closing acts. All these theories have two things in common. They explain the known facts and they are completely and utterly wrong. Your Highness, and aren't you a pretty little girl? I'm not a little girl, I'm a powerful and dignified magician. Why are you dressed up as a princess then? I most certainly am not. You've got a tall pointy hat. All princesses have tall pointy hats. Look, it's not... And a dress. A tall pointy hat and a dress. That's a princess in my book. So how do you explain the beard then, eh? Eh? I thought that was just probably your peasant blood, dear. A lot of men find a bit of hair sultry and attractive. I wish a lot of women did.
shall overcome. We shall overcome. Overcome what? What was that, fascist? I'm asking just what it is that you want to overcome. Who tied you up like this? I've tied myself here, yeah, me, pig. Now try and repress me out of that. You tied yourself up? It's an act demonstrating freedom, see? Well, it demonstrates my freedom to tie myself to anything I want to, whenever I want to. That's one of your basic human rights, right? And I'll fight to keep a hold of it. You mean you want to fight for the right to lose your freedom? Right on! Don't you want to know what I'm protesting about? I was half hoping to avoid it, but do go on. I'm protesting for the right to have female members of the Fools and Jesters Guild. And I will not be moved. Why are you protesting about it over here in the cemetery? Why don't you go and do it outside the Jesters Guild? They never have anything worth tying yourself to over at that end of town. I like this, though. Quite a nice little stake, if you don't mind my saying so. Not an absolute prime choice, mind, but getting there. Then by all means, be my guest. Excuse me, I, I think it's probably time for me to take my medicine. <laughs>